What's up, everybody? Matthew Human here. Today, I am creating an intake filter for our Taco Tall water system. So people often ask me, what is the Taco Tall water system? How does it work? It is a gravity-fed system. Uh, currently, we're getting it from the creek, which is about... It's a little over a kilometer, maybe two kilometers away. It's a pretty long pipe. Um, but the intake has to be higher than the point of where we want it to end up, which is our highest point on our her, our land, which is the tank. So we have to go up the creek into our neighbor's property, which is changing. We're digging a well right now. But in the meantime, we're still using that while we, while we uh, get it together. So we needed a new intake filter. So to do that, I drilled a bunch of holes into a, this is a four inch uh, piece of PVC. This is high quality. The last one we had broke, so I wanted to make sure this one wasn't gonna break. So it's a thick walled PVC. And um, this is, uh, I drilled a bunch of holes and this is where the water is gonna come in. And so basically on the other side, we just need uh, something to cap it and something to connect it to the hose. So I've got this, which is a three inch to one inch reducer. And on this, the other side, we're going to do a three inch to two inch. And that's just going to give me two little nubs that I can uh, tie wire to so I can tie a, a piece of screen around, which is going to be the first level of the filter. So I'm going to get started. I'll leave this going here. What I've done is I've taken sandpaper and I've roughed up all of the all of the edges that I'm going to glue because that's the main thing you need to do is to, uh, to get it to stick. You don't have to do it, but it certainly makes it a better bond, right? Because it gives it more less. You don't really want flat surface. You want a kind of coarse, uh, I don't know, call that graded surface. You want some kind of something more for it to uh to bond to so so what i always start with that let's start with our our one end so this is a two inch i've already I've already sanded that down you can see it right here it's already sanded and then we just need some glue and this is pvc glue it's like plumbing glue this is pretty common i'm gonna glue this end of the cap onto this side and you can see this comes out this is like a, a liquid kind of paste almost. You go all the way around. Just pop, quarter turn. There we go. And it'll be bonded. And this is, this stuff is strong. You don't really want to get it on your skin, but you know, that's why it's good to have a rag nearby, just in case, which is, this is the cap that's going to go Oh, we needed another, don't have another union, which I would have needed to do this. Would have needed one for each end because that's how those things work. Now the question is, do I use what I have or do I go get a union in town? I am going to be in town today. Okay, guys, I'm back. So as I was mentally figuring out in the last one was that in order to connect this thing to this pipe, I need a union because these don't connect directly on top. You need a union like this, which connects the two. It's a lot like playing with Legos, but you need to have all the parts. So fortunately, I'm the kind of person that over orders things. And when I need something, I usually order two, especially if it's something that's hard to get. I do this because of situations just like this where hard to get things you might need them later. So it's good to have a stock of these kinds of things when you do plumbing. So that's why I got this. So now I've got this one. I found it in the bodega. And I'm gonna sand it the inside where I'm gonna make the connections just like I did with all the other ones. There are some things we can do. Okay, now we can keep gluing what we were doing before. So now I'm gonna glue what we did earlier, which is now completely dry to this guy this is a reducer it doesn't feel like it's very tight there but 
it's gonna have to do. Put a lot of glue on there, it'll work. And this, sure this is good. I'm realizing I didn't stand this connection yet. Then we're gonna glue it, this into here, and then this onto there. And you have like a couple minutes to get it, you know, like a, not a minute, not a couple minutes. You have a little bit of time, but half turn. We'll let that settle. And I'm doing this. I could just use a cap, right? That would just cap off the end. But I'm using this because I want to have space to tie um, wire to put a piece of screen over the whole thing. And this is already setting, so that's good. This is the union. Glue the reducer into the union. Oh my gosh, this is so big. These three inch pieces, I really needed a bigger. That's in there. Okay, so now we've got the end finished. Boy, this um realizing, yeah, this glue. Hoping I have enough, hoping I have enough to finish this. Okay. So I'm gonna glue the inside of this and the outside of this. Start with the outside of this. Pura vida. Pura vida. And we're going to do the inside of this. A lot of glue. Okay. So we've got one end. This is the end cap of our filter. And then this is going to be the side that connects to the hose. So the kind of connection that we have, what we already have over there is this guy. So this is what our... Um, this is what our um, pipe connects into. So this needs, what we needed was, this is a male, it's a one inch male, and what we needed was a one inch female. So we had to go from, to get to the four inch down to the one inch, four inch union, a four inch to one inch reducer, a little piece of pipe of one inch, and then the uh, female recept receiver, basically. Adapter. Go ahead and do this one, this side. I always leave the pipe a little bit longer than necessary. That is so that you can cut it later if you need to. Because when you use these things, like if it breaks, like if you don't leave a little bit of extra pipe, you need to be able, if you need to plug a union in later, like a, uh, and like that's a, a union is what pr puts two things together basically, then you wanna make sure you have enough space. And also for this purpose, we wanna have something that the rocks can kind of, it can put a rock on it so that it kind of holds it in place. Cause one of the issues that we have at the river is that the, the whole unit just gets moved cause it's big. I mean, it's, or it's the water is a lot of water when there's like a big rainstorm. So now we need to go this into this. Plugger in. Quarter turn. There we go. And then this is gonna screw into that on this side. Now we've got plug this into the union, plug the union into that. We're good. This is where we need all the glue though. <laughs> so let's get this in there because it's starting to dry. All right, now the last one. We're gonna glue this into here. And then we've got our filter, and then we're just gonna cover it in screen and wire, and it'll be done. There we have it. This is our filter, our intake filter. The pipe connects to this. 
this is gonna we're gonna kick some wire here i'm gonna turn this off now and i'll do the wiring next for this last step i've gotten some screen and this is some nylon screen won't rust um and then i've wrapped it twice so actually it's like perfect size which is awesome i didn't even measure it could have though and i'm going to use some wire i had some old wire running around and i'm going to wire it on this side and i'm going to wire it on that side i'm going to cut this first right there and then i'm going to wire it up and uh, that should be pretty good i'm feeling pretty good about this okay so here it is the final product i uh, took some wire and i wired um, started on both ends and I did starting one from this end and one from this end and I wired it around. This is going to hold the screen on, kind of wrapped it around it. Um, it's always good to have a lot of extra wire up the creek um, and a little extra screen. So I kind of overdid it. I only wrapped this two times because I don't want, we, we want water to be able to get in here. So we don't want to clog it too much, um, especially in a low flow time of year. So yeah, I think this is going to work. Got wire on here. All the way around, holding it, holding it in. I think this is actually going to be just fine. And uh, it's a temporary solution until we get our well going. But that's it. Hola Vida, thanks for watching. I'm Matthew Human, MatthewHuman.com. You can check me out at Finca Vida Verde, Finca Vida Verde, Costa Rica. And I also have a podcast. The Vida Ver La Vida Verde podcast. You can check it out every Tuesday on YouTube at La Vida Verde podcast. Pura Vida. An open heart will follow when our purpose will be better understood. How many times?